You will be aware that a serious incident occurred here at this location this morning. Police and ambulance services were called uh, and deployed to a number of casualties. It is with great sadness um, that I confirm that one of those injured in the incident, a 13-year-old boy, has died from their injuries. He was taken to hospital after being stabbed and sadly died a short while after. The child's family are being supported firstly by my local officers and now with some specialist officers um, and everyone across the Met is keeping them in our thoughts at this unimaginably difficult time. The events of this morning are truly horrific and I cannot even begin to imagine how those affected must be feeling. My thoughts are with the injured, their families and the wider community as we all begin to come to terms with what has happened and try to understand what has happened here. I know that there will be clearly and understandably a desire for answers and an explanation as to what happened. Our investigation is in its very early stages and my officers are, are working right now to establish the full facts as a priority and we will share what we can when we can uh, with the wider community and of course with yourselves. A 36-year-old is currently in custody. He was tasered here at the scene and arrested 22 minutes after the first call was made to police shortly before 7am this morning. I want to confirm at present that we do not believe there is any ongoing threat to the wider public and we are not seeking any other persons. The incident does not appear to be linked to any act of terrorism. We know now that during the incident five people were injured, three members of the public and two of my local officers who were responding to the call. Two of those members of the public remain in hospital. Um, thankfully their injuries are not believed to be life-threatening. The two Met Police officers are also currently in hospital with stab wounds. Both require surgery and have significant injuries but we believe at this stage that they were not life-threatening. I commend the incredible bravery of not just the police officers but the other emergency responders who came to this scene this morning. I would ask anyone with information or any footage that would help us with this investigation to share that and call 101, please. I know the families of those involved, the local and wider community and many across London will want to know why this terrible incident occurred. And it's our job to find that out and we will. I am committed to providing those answers when we can and I would ask for some patience while this important work is carried out.